What is the answer for question number two? Anyone? Correct answer for question number two, those who have solved. Gagan, Dana Tendu, Masankar, Bank, Puneet. The correct answer is rupees 550. Again, there are a lot of shortcuts for this particular this type of the question, which we have discussed in the class. The total expenses of a boarding house are partly fixed and partly varying linearly with the number of borders. Average expense is rupees 700 when there are 25 borders. So I can say number of borders. Okay, number of borders. Then the average expense. And then I can say the total expense. So the average expense per border is rupees 700. The average expense is rupees 700 when there are 25 borders. So the total will be nothing but that is 25 into 700, which is equal to 175,000 or 1,000. Okay, 17,500. Now after that, it says. 600 when there are 50 borders, so that this is 50, this is 600. So 600 when there are 50 borders, so that is total cost is 50 into 600, which is equal to 30,000. What is the average expenses when there are 100 borders? So when there are 100 borders, what is the average expense I need to find out? Now, if you look at here, if you look at here, the number of borders here, it increased by 25. We know that some of the part are fixed and some of the part are varied. Okay, so the number of borders initially there are 25,000, so 1 lakh 75,000 is the sorry, 17,500 is the cost, and here 30,000. So the total cost, the total cost, what is the increase in the total cost? Can anyone tell me the increase in the total cost from 17,500 to 30,000? Can you say the total cost it has been increased by how much? Tell me that is 12,500, yes or no? 12,500. So when my border number of person increased by 25, my additional cost, additional cost, remember fixed cost, whether the person is 25 or 50 or 100, fixed cost is always same. But with the addition of 25 members, the total cost has increased by 12,500. So here there is the addition of 50 members. So with the addition of 50 members, which is just the double, so can you say my total cost will also be increased by 12,500 into two? Because the number of person, it has become doubled, there is an additional double portion has been added, so that is here. So 30,000 plus 12,500 into 2, that is equal to nothing but 55,000. So the average expense is nothing but that is 55,000 upon 100, which is equal to 550, and that is the answer. So the correct answer is option number A. There are two other methods also. One of the ways you can frame the equations, then you can solve it. There is another method also by using the ratio proportion here, but this is easy as well as very faster method. Any doubts to anyone, please respond. Can I move to the next question then? If this is clear, the other two methods, it has been already discussed in the class, but I am, when you are writing it, you should try to do it by the simplest way. 